I went real heavy these last few days, so I've got a lot of catching up to do, even though I've been working hard. I have everything packed up already, ready to go out tomorrow for the most part. But I've been going real heavy, so I'm going to take a couple days off. I've got a poker league tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. I'll probably list one tomorrow, and then maybe we'll break it Tuesday or whenever it fills. I don't know, David. I'm definitely not an expert at gr the whole grading process. I've never sent anything away. I've been a raw guy up to this point. But if I'm going to sell some of this stuff, which I'm only really thinking about selling like, or at least getting graded, some of the Bowman firsts and a few of the cards that I opened with some friends that we said that we we're going to get graded. So we're just all compiling some some cards to hopefully get a good bulk rate. Yeah, Rob. You bought two and it was gone. Yeah, this one this one sold out uh, about about 24 hours, maybe a little less. Nina. Yeah, I know. I you know, I figured might as well get it done because I'm I'm so busy this upcoming week that who knows when we would have had to wait until we couldn't do it tomorrow. Unless I were to do it during the day at like 1 o'clock or something in the afternoon, but then who knows? I, you guys probably wouldn't even be able to come join, which isn't the end of the world because you can just watch a replay, but i like everybody to be here that can. We got some new music too. A little more laid back. No copyright strikes for this stuff. What's up, Dragon? How are you this evening? Real excited to open the pack party. Woo! Oh, you did a vid, Roan Bear? Sweet. Did you post it? I'll check it out. Uh, this guy was... Was he? 14th overall. So he's a good one. He's a biggie. I don't know much about him, but he was like the number 11th. I got the list right here. I've been checking out the case prices. So for a... 50 caser that Houdini did. He went for $1,800. And he was like the. Probably about the sixth. It's like Adley, Abrams, Vaughn, Green, Bishop, Beatty, Young, and Carroll. And then this guy. So he's the like the ninth overall, ninth best guy. Oh, Roan Bear did post it. Okay, I got I definitely gotta check that out, Roan Bear. This thing's so heavy. been gone all day just got back gotta go watch football with my buddies because i don't have tv <laughs> right now yeah bowman's best looking like looking like a pretty good pretty good deal you get four autos for about 130 bucks so yeah i've been looking into it definitely gonna get some probably do a bowman draft box with a Bowman's Best. Something like that. Get some mixers coming up with this Bowman. Tell you what, man. This many cards is... Whew, there's a lot of cards going out in packages tomorrow. Let me tell you. Yeah, the, the graphics are, are questionable. It really looks to me like these graphics look like 
early 2000s. I mean, I know they've got the nostalgia thing going for Bowman Draft, but I don't know. They, they didn't spend a whole lot of time on the graphics. Which, who cares? We just throw these things in the garbage anyway. Nina just got back from Target and only bought a hanger pack of Chrome Update. I still haven't even seen any of those in the wild. I'd buy one if I saw one in the wild. I know it is, Nina. It's hard to resist. Oh, yeah, so I went to I went to my big lots, and the card selection was atrocious. There were probably about seven packs, but they had been handled so much, it was like wearing off the color of the wrapper. They are all crinkled up, and all there was was like, old like a 2018 basketball and maybe like a pack a couple packs of cheap football cards nothing good though nothing good baseball card exchange has a lot of good cheap blasters good to know good to know also i was checking out some prices just to just to get an idea of what this stuff usually does. And I will share some of the stuff that I found. So I went back all the way to 2012. Oh yeah, that one. I opened that during a stream. It was in a damaged box. I just thought I'd open it up to see what the damage was all about. And it happened to be that. But anyway, so going back to see what this stuff does. And it's not... It always depends on who comes out of it, of course. But the 2018, similar to this Super Jumbo, the 2018 Super Jumbos, the best player... Not the very best, maybe, but the guy that they were touting was Mize. So there's really nothing that great that you can get out of 2018 draft that I know of. You guys could correct me if I'm wrong, but it's going for 388 bucks a box. 2017 is going for 520. 2016 is going for 615. So when I predicted that this stuff, these boxes are probably going to go up. That was before I even looked into the actual numbers. And just based on the last few years, the trend is looking up. 2013 costs about $1,000 for the same stuff. Of course, Judge was in that year. And what else we got? So there's a few years there, like 2015 is 370, which is still more than this, but I don't think anybody huge came out of there. And 2014 was only 275. So there's nothing huge out of there. Oh, the Riley Green Sparkles. That's what I'm talking about. Boom! Look at that beauty. Mm, mm, mm. Not numbered, but I've been punching some numbers on the production of these things. And I don't have the final tally yet, so I can't tell you. But it's pretty low. The sparkles, that is. Also, the sky blues are fairly low, but you know they're 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 low priced. But they, the the low price goes back a ways. Like I was just checking out. There's a Ben. You can get a Ben and Tendi first sky blue. There's only like fifteen bucks. Yeah, they're not numbered. But isn't that sweet, Tim? The Riley. I'm working on it. Got the paper, the chrome.
Bush went for a thousand dollars, as compared to Adley's went for eight thousand dollars. So Adley's, if you just use that logic, eight times more valuable right now. But all that stuff changes. Definitely fluctuates. It's got some pretty good ones. So far. We at least see the one I've got coming in a couple days. I splurged. But that one was an investment, so... I think it's okay to splurge on investments every once in a while if you're trying to make your money back or make some money off of it oh yeah especially if he tears up any of these guys that start tearing it up they could be no names right now that you can pick up their autos for like 10 bucks 15 bucks i put a bid on a blue wave auto of a pitcher a young pitcher i don't even remember his name right now but the guy wanted like 15 dollars for it is a blue wave first i'm like and he was a second round pick i'm like okay you know add a zero if he just does anything add two zeros if he ends up being really good that's kind of how i think about it these cards fluctuate so much that you just you just talk about adding zeros to them especially the blue stuff blue wave isn't as desirable as the regular blue but it's still it's not like it's you know let's just say the blue wave is 250 the blue would probably be like 275 280 maybe 300 at the most just as a comparison that's not like a one-to-one -one comparison wow this is really chill music We need something a little, a little heavier, I think. Maybe not. How'd everybody's football team do today? It was a pretty crazy day of football, man. Some of those games were really high scoring that weren't projected to be. Yeah, or you're sitting out in your Florida room, or your Michigan room, or wherever, looking out at the sunset and the, the light wind blowing in the trees, the birds singing, a pleasant cloud rolls in and hides the sun for just a moment. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Stopping in, Bobby. Hello. It's all right. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Very calm. This is a one-man band. He just makes all this music. Let's see what his name is again. His name is Josh Woodward. The one-man band. <laughs> Josh Woodward, Jeff. Yes, as the squirrels steal seeds out of the feeder. I'll tell you what. I've had enough of that. I've got my pellet gun right by the door just for that situation. I've got quite a few pelts. <laughs> Master the pan flute. I don't know. These I'm watching the video. Like He makes videos for a lot of these songs. And... I'm seeing mostly acoustic guitar, keyboard, and what are those little things? I can't remember what it's called. It's not a mandolin. Maybe it's a mandolin where you like, it's almost, it almost looks like a harp that, that you lay flat. It's got a bunch of strings on it. It's got one of those. Kind of reminds me of Ben Folds as well. Your son got bit by a squirrel? How the heck did that happen? 
I could never even get a foot away or like 10 feet away from a squirrel. They're out of here. Probably because I'm shooting them all the time. What's up, Ped? Harpsichord? I don't know what it is. Did you make a hat out of them? Mistook his finger for a nut. We had the fattest squirrel at our bird feeder the other day. I didn't have time to get them though. Sometimes I just open the window and holler and they run. But we go through a lot of bird seed. That black oil, black oil sunflower seed. We go through too much of that. Whoa, you woke up your freshman year at college to a squirrel right next to you, eating your snacks? Yeah, I'll bet it scared the crap out of you. Oh yeah, all the squirrels are used to people feeding them too there. <laughs> Philly squirrels are ruthless. What kind of squirrels do they have there? Are those the black ones? Those black squirrels are nuts. They're aggressive. We have gray ones around here. Some red ones, but mostly gray squirrels and they're just they're just really fat and lazy. They'll just eat and eat and eat and eat and as soon as you get about 10 yards away, they just take off. Rob's the guy in the park that goes to feed the squirrels. I'm the guy that just feeds them out of my backyard. Oh yeah, Venus. We had a raccoon, this is hilarious. We had a raccoon eating out of our bird feeder. I don't know how it got up there. It bent, it bent the pole in half, practically. It was hanging way down. So I came back and I I shot it with a, with a pellet gun, so it didn't kill it. Just, you know, hit it and he jumped off. And then I, I heard the neighbor's dog going crazy. Just rawr, 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 and it didn't, I was, you know, it was two in the morning or something. I was like, what is going on? So I, the squirt, the raccoon ran away and I just, this is like maybe half hour later. I go outside and the dog is right up against the fence, the neighbor dog. And I'm like, what are you barking at? So I open the sliding door and I look down and there's that big fat raccoon. The thing is just so fat. And I kind of stomped it at its, you know, stomped and like, yeah, get out of here, get out of here. And it just, it was still below the feeder, on a different feeder, eating seeds. So I picked up a rock. It was just right below me. And, you know, the thing's only like, I don't know, 15 feet away or something. I just chucked a rock and hit him right in the head. And it just ugh, flipped over on its back. <laughs> oh, it was so great. And that didn't kill him either. But he scurried away, and I've never seen him since. But it was a great throw. Yeah, the black squirrels look like Satan squirrels. They're up to no good. A guy can handle the red squirrels. They look they look a little bit more adorable, but the black ones they look like they're there to, there for your soul. Yeah. Raccoons don't scare easily, even when a car is barreling at them. In the middle of the road, they just look up at the car and they're like, I'm not scared. Dead. You saw a squirrel fight? Squirrel fights are funny. We have hummingbird fights on my porch. So we've got like four hummingbird feeders and they come from all around been five years it took five years to get a really nice flock of hummingbirds coming around but now they come around and it's fun sitting on the porch watching them fight daily it's crazy yeah i hate possums they're so ugly and scary looking 
It looks like they have skull faces. That's what I heard, Jay Fern. They say that. Sounds legit. But I don't buy I don't buy uh, macro evolution. That's a story for a different time. T minus ten minutes. Is everybody getting revved up? Rev that engine up. Come on. <laughs> Cornered a possum, did it jump right at you? <coughs> oh, speaking of skunks, yeah. My dog got sprayed like four times last summer. And I think three out of the four at least were my fault. We have a bunch of skunks in our neighborhood too, and they all come out right about the time that I go walk the dog. About 10 o'clock at night, right around that time, 10 30. 11. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I wait till my wife gets home from work about 11 30. But there's always skunks out there, and it's pitch black, so I'm just walking the dog. I let her go a little ways, and then she takes off, and by the time I can push the little thing down to stop her, she's face first into a skunk's butt every time just sprayed right in the face and I gotta go spray her off with a hose for about half an hour and she loves it she just tries to bite the water coming out of the hose and then two three baths later I got the de-skunk shampoo and everything stinks up the house for about two weeks sucks You don't have squirrels in Australia, interesting, but you have ring-tailed possums. And if you ever pick one up, you have a friend for life. That is amazing. Lots of marsupials there in Australia. Yeah, I've heard that rolling bear, but ah, I don't have any tomato sauce ever. And it just seems like a really, really messy job. I've tried a bunch of different remedies, baking soda and peroxide and soap and vinegar and all that stuff. But I never tried the tomato, tomato juice or tomato sauce, whatever it is. Squirrels aren't deadly enough to live in Australia. Yeah, that's probably right. Too many snakes. The snake population would probably explode if there are a bunch of squirrels around T minus eight minutes make sure I got everything lined up here wow this guy's music is very mellow Very mellow. Uh. Yeah. It's funny when your dog tries to bite the toothbrush. Yeah. Josh Woodward, you gotta really step it up, buddy. I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. There. A little more energy. Come on. Let's pick it up. There we go. Countdown. Six minutes left. A 
I love this Riley. I really do. Looking at it now, it looks to be a tad off center on the bottom, top to bottom. Yep, it is. It's like 70 30. This way, right to left, and top to bottom is just pretty close, actually. Hook it up! Like! Give it a like if you got what it takes. Clayton. You're sending me all your tigers? Cool. Thank you. Polka. Mark, you want polka? I don't know if I can oblige. I don't have any polka... Uh, Copyright-free polka music on my playlist. Caress the like button, says Joey. Massage it. Give it a nice, deep tissue massage. Just push it real deep. Get all the tension out of that like button, you know? Maybe use your knuckles. Get nice and deep in there. There, that is. There it is. That a boy. That a girl. <laughs> Dave, you you walked in at just the right time. We're massaging like buttons. A top-down massage. Everybody seems to like that. You got a doll negative? That's funny, Joey, because I think I might have a doll negative too floating around here. I've got another negative. I can't remember who. One, I have one or two more negatives. But they're all packed away. Feel free to send it my way if you want. Philly's had their holiday sale and tree lighting yesterday, and Reese was there, but rumors have it he's being traded. Wow, wow, such a, I mean, he had a bad year, but, I don't know. Oh, you do not, Dave. Get out of here. Rolling. Rolling across. Just getting the dice nice and warmed up. Let Kate and give him, Clayton give him a kiss. Sweep away the bad juju with the toupee. Get real close. Yeah, I mean the only tigers that I'm I'm just kind of in the in the young up and coming tigers right now. I love Al Kaline though. And um Mize Green. Oh, who else? Any classic tigers? Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really have a ton of them. I've got that K-Line Auto. I gotta pull that one out. Number to three. It's one of my favorite cards. But Miggy, just, I, I'd have ever since the the whole secret family thing came out, I haven't liked him. Matt Manning, yeah. He seems to be awesome. I just need to I need to see a little more from him. He's so young. Or he was when he was drafted. Alright, 658. I'm gonna roll and we're gonna get this ready. Ready to go. This is the official roll. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm a I like Gibby. I just don't have a lot of old cards. Bas or baseball cards, that is. Seven. Ooh, there we go. Lucky number seven. Lucky seven. It's going to be a good one. You got a Mize Real one auto. Oh, that's cool. Gibby, uh, here's the thing about Gibby is he's kind of a dick. So 
There's a lot of like personal stories from people because he lives around here. Three times on the teams. Seven o'clock on the dot. There's one. Two. And three. You going live tonight, Dave? Yeah, seems like that, Dragon. Or at least you would think that. I don't know personally. It's never been a dick to me personally. He has a lot of insight with his commentary, but his voice is hard to listen to. I really talk kind of mumbling and it doesn't I don't know just it's not it's not a good it's not a good uh, nationally syndicated voice I guess it's not nationally syndicated but sometimes it is seven times one two three four five. Six and seven. Leading off, Glenn N. Glenn with the Mets. Let me see how we organize this. There we go. Okay, everybody ready? I'm going to read off the names. Diamondbacks to Tang. Braves to Cubby. Orioles, Brandon M. Red Sox, Richard B. White Sox, Mark B. Reds, John P. Indians and Royals, Rob H. Rockies and Nationals, Nina. Tigers, Lewis. Astros and A's, Richard B. Angels, John L. Dodgers, Mark B. Marlins, Nina. Brewers, David F. Twins, Mark B. Mets, Glenn N. Yankees, Kirk M. Phillies, Rob H. Pirates, Michael S. Padres, Mark B. Giants, Michael S. Mariners, Richard B. Cardinals and Cubs, Lunchbox. Tampa Bay Rays going to Jeff. Rangers to Nina. Blue Jays to William K. All right, let's pack party it up first. I don't know what it is, man. It's a streaming, like streaming music, streaming something, copyright free streaming something. Not sure who it is. The blowout pack party. For those new, here's what it is. Bunch of packs. Some good stuff, some really good stuff in here. We'll go through it. Probably the same as last one. Gypsy, we got some 2019 update. We got the Bowman Holiday, some silver packs, Optic, Futures, there's the good one. Sapphire and the Soto. So it looks like the same one. All right, same, uh, well that one's going to Nina. She got the Nationals. We're just starting Jasper. Use bear music for your vids? Hmm. Where do I get such music? There's the good one, the sapphire. We'll save that for the end. Bowman, big old fat hanger. Got a 2018 holiday. 2018 update hanger. 
2018 Chrome. This. Some more silvers. 2015 draft, 2018 hobby, uh, silver. Uh, 2019 hobby, 2019 chrome update, 2018 hobby update. We've got this 2014 update and a heritage high number. So let us get started. May we get very lucky. Good luck to everybody. Let's do what is required. I'm just going to save that back there for now. The luck. Sweep away the bad with the toupee. And double tap it for good luck. Start with this. All right. Diving in. Anybody good? Come on, Acuna. Come on, Soto. Soto incoming. I think so. Oh, a gold Soto. Woo! Got the three homer game. Otani. Adamis. The gold junior. Going to the Milwaukee Brewers, David, 1770. Babe Ruth, legendary. Ozzy Albies, international. Chapman. Bunch of sideways ones. Are they all that way? Soto rookie debut. Did I find these at uh, Blowout? Yeah, these are for, if that's what you meant. Blowout. Blowout pack party is what it's called. Yeah, we're just starting. That was the first pack. But that Soto Living rookie is awesome. I'm glad they include those. Those are cool. All right. Who are we looking for here? I don't know. Don't know. John Singleton. The future is now. That one didn't pan out. Oh, there's a U Darvish. All-star game. Okay. Nothing too schmancy. Oh, you can get bats out of there? Whoa. That would have been a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. The Judge Scratch Off. Those are one per box. So, you get, that's a nice hit. Go to the Yanks. Who got the Yanks? Kirkham got the Yanks. Box hit there. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, Dave. Definitely tune in. Dave's going to do one of these tonight. I'm tuning in for sure. I missed you last time, man. I just fell asleep. <laughs> You start, you start late, although I can usually hang till about 2.33. Freeman. Come on, baby. Let's get it. Mm. Nothing there. You guys okay? <laughs> Trying to plug the phone and it's dying. I don't know why it's dying. It is plugged in. 
Hold on, just just a sec. Hold up. Okay, yeah, it says it's being charged. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace just in case this dies on us. I don't know why it would. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got a Chrome Keston rookie debut, followed by the Molina. You all right? Everybody all right? Got a holiday pack here, 2019 holiday pack. Let's hope to get a variation. Short print in here. That would be a nice little goal. Got the Paddock and the Williams s 2 stamp. Going to the Minnesota Twins, Mark B. Okay, now we got a silver, 2018 Series 1 silver. Be a nice bonus to get a auto out of one of these. Got the Reese Hoskins rookie. Speak of the devil. Nice Kershaw. Mark McGuire. And Ryan Sandberg. So that Reese is going to Rob. I still like Reese. I think he's, if he does get traded, some team's going to get lucky. Depending on the price, because he's got middle of the order potential for sure. Upside. Taylor Ward first. Callie, you in the house? It's Callie kid in the house. I'm always pulling Taylor Wards when he was around. Ian Happ and we got a Bowman first. John Harris Chrome. Mike Nickork. Hmm. hmm. Well, there was the Taylor Ward first. All right, what do we got here? We've got a 2019 Series 1 Silver Pack. Ozzie Smith. There's a judge. Jesus Aguilar, Ryan O'Hearn. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy yet. Let's keep it going. Come on. Let's get something huge. Okay, we got some tops chrome here. Looking for the big rookies like Acuna. Boom. There we go. Cubby. If you're watching, Cubby. It's going to you. Nice one. Parker, Greg Allen, Chance Cisco. It's a nice Goldschmidt refractor. I think it's a refractor. It might just be how it looks. Montgomery and ooh, there's a nice one. Dang, so it must be numbered to 99. 94 of 99. It's like the green wave. Kyle Seeger. It's a cool card. Going to Richard. Castillo, Bauer, Doolittle, and Cruz. Twenty eighteen holiday. Looking for the big hitters out of twenty eighteen. Maybe a nice little snowflake Acuna or Soto or Otani or even a relic, which I see coming right around the corner. Looks like we might have got lucky with the relic. Rendon and Kenta Maeda. Oh, it's not a relic. Fake out. Sorry. It's a stamp. Kenta. Going to Mark B. Just about it. Okay, so the 2018 Bowman. What do we got? What do we got? Devers rookie. Going to the Red Sox. Richard B. 
Dallas, you in here? I bet you'd like that one. Harper. Now we're into a little bit of chrome. We got Sam Hilliard first. Mitch Keller. Speaking of Matt Manning, earlier we were talking about him a little bit. There he is. And... Hmm, Will Smith. All right. Dallas is in here, and Dave likes divers. All right, let's do this one. This tops now. See if any of these ended up hitting. Arenado to win the World Series, no. Matt Chapman to win the World Series, no. Corbin to win the World Series, that one hit. Nice. Nina's getting that one. So I don't know how these work, but something about scratching that off and sending it away. Or going online and filling out some form. I'm sure you can figure it out. But that's pretty sweet. Got one to hit. Okay, now we got a pack of Optic. Taylor Ward again. Twenty eighteen. Hobby Silver. Let's go. Lots of packs. That's one beautiful thing about these pack parties. We got an Upton. Looks like there's a green in here, so that's sweet. Nick Williams rookie. Wit and who's it gonna be? Dropping it down from the top. Victor Caratini. Going to the Cubbies. Who has them? Lunchbox Breaks. Number to 99. And that is it. You gonna do some 86 down to us, Dave? Okay, now we got one of those Bowman holiday packs. Featuring Max Muncie, a Nick Senzel rookie, and a Estudio. Hmm. Update, hobby. Soto, something, Willie Mays. All right, Gypsy. Anything in here? We got an Acuna Mini. Was the pack hit? Jake Bowers, rookie. Cunha Mini. That one's going to Cubby. So, the Sapphire. The Hope. The Great Hope of Sapphire. Come on, baby! <laughs> the Twin Stadium. Mike the Narc fires. Michael Taylor. And Chance Adams. Well, tops now. Well, come on in, Void. Come on in. Grab a chair. OK, 
Okay. Let's see. Rowdy winning the Rookie of the Year didn't happen. Austin Hayes, no, nope, that didn't either. Duplantier, no, nope, that one didn't happen either. Aguilar did not win the MVP. And Kyle Wright did not win the, MV the Rookie of the Year. All right. Thus concludes the pack party. Let's rip an auto. Get a for sure auto. Get the good vibes heading our way. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Let's get a big one. as well. Dropping it down. Here we go. Three, two, one. The slow drop. I think I, I think I, can you guys tell who that is through there? I've got a guess. Somebody who Dallas and Dave would like. Nope, I thought that, that was somebody else. Jose Martinez. Going to the St. Louis Cardinals. Lunchbox breaks. Jose. Not Jose B. All right. You just pulled a Heritage Judge French text. Yowzers, that's a big card. Those French text ones are so hard to find, or so hard to see, like when you do pull them. I had to go back through my case looking for one. Because I knew, I, I think you're supposed to get, this is like one a case or something. You have that one too, Roan Bear? The Judge French? Oh, a hose B. I think you were joking about that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't come up with that one. It's not my joke. But it is funny. All right, let's get some stands ready. For some big hitters. Five guaranteed autos, guys. Huge potential. Huge, huge. Even huge potential. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> still so funny. Good luck. Blade, paper. Getting into the chrome. Here comes the heat. Not a ton of heat there. But the franchise futures, C.J. Abram, going to San Diego. 
Mark B. The Progression. And some more Chrome. Michael Bush first. And Cody Hosey first. It's a Dodgers pack. Huge. Well, Jay, I like out of this one, of course, besides Adley, Vaughn, and Blade, I like Riley. Um, there's lots of guys I like. Probably my little secret, secret guy that I like is. Um, Carroll, Corbin Carroll. And Abrams. I like Abrams and Carroll. And Vaughn. Oh yeah, you said Vaughn. Adley. Into the chrome. This guy's collectible too. Langoliers. Beatty. Here's another biggie. This guy's big. Okay, now we got the refractor pile. Josh Smith. Okay, we got a perp here. Is it to Chrome Perp? Quinn Priester. Yeah, Josh Mears. I like Josh Mears as well. There's the Riley. Riley Green. We got a blue wave behind it. Come on, baby. Please be an auto. Blue wave auto. Come on. Come on. Is it young? It is! It's a Josh Young Blue Wave Auto! That's a big hit. That's a big hit right there. Nina, it's going to you. Congratulations. That's a big one. Very nice. Woohoohoo! Yeah! Numbered. Where is it numbered? Oh, it's up there. You can barely see it. 76 of 150. Yeah. Got to take a quick break. for. I'm, I got to look that up. Let's see what he's going for. So I'm just telling you what they're asking right now for that. Let's see, there's a blue, blue wave there. One guy's asking 400. Um, the regular blues, like 850. Another blue wave's got being bid on right now. So raw, anywhere from like, 400, probably about 400 on up, raw, get it graded, nice grade, looks like, it looks to be perfectly centered, it looks perfect, so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be a 9.5, you get, you get that back, 9.5 or better, it can be $1,000 card, and even more if he starts producing. You'd flip it for a trout rookie. Yeah, the place the prices always fluctuate. The best time to sell is probably like when they're when they get first get called up. Right around there. But just to give you a 
point of reference. Let me see here. The young was the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like the seventh, seventh highest guy. It's looking like one, two, three, four, five. So he went for like 1700 in the 20 caser as the fifth, fifth highest price that people paid for his spot. So that's one of the better ones you can get. Probably top, one of the top five. Huge one, Nina. Blade. Okay, to the chrome. There's the Adley going to Brandon. I don't think this is uh, available in retail, Derek. Arizona franchise. And the Giants progression. Lodolo, one of the better pitchers. Yeah, Nina's got some serious mojo. They are very expensive, but it goes hand in hand, you know. They're expensive, and then they're worth a lot. Like, if you have a cheap box of cards to open, you're probably not going to find any cards that are worth a lot. All depends on what you care about. High-end... Middle, middle of the line, low end, autos, parallels, your particular team. It's like, why are you in? What are you in it for? Do you like the prospects? If you don't like prospects, this is not for you because this is all prospects. But it is very expensive. That's why getting into group breaks are fun because you can get in on a spot for 25 bucks, And rather than spending 350 or whatever on a box... Okay, we got a blue, sky blue. Go to the Mets. Oh, there's a nice one. The Beatty Refractor. Another one. Going to Glenn. And the Andrew Vaughn. 30th anniversary. Followed by our auto, which is Noah Song. Going to the Red Sox, Richard B. Congratulations, Richard. Noah Song. Yeah, I didn't find anything at Big Lots, unfortunately. It's so gnarly in there, though. Gnarly in a bad way. My Big Lots, it's... I don't want to ever go there again. It smells. It's dirty. The, the stuff that's on the shelves is unorganized. The It takes probably three to four times longer to check out because the staff is incompetent and the, the system they use is really old. 
all the carts are filthy, the shopping carts. The electronic doors don't work properly, so they have to be like propped open. There's all kinds of reasons to not go to my local big lots. Yeah, I know, Alan and Ginter, it, it's fun to open a, a little bit of, but there's nothing that's really that collectible other than Jackie Bradley Jr. relics. Getting in on the chrome. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'll show you after this how these cards look different. Some of the cards look different. I'll show you what I mean. Hold on. And it's you're gonna say it's because of the background, and that's probably what it is. But see how like seriously chromed out that is? And all of these ones are, but then as you get towards the back, they're not like that. Look. Like super chrome, super chrome. All chromed out all over the place. You got pitchers, batters, everything. All different field conditions. Some some green. And then, like all this is all chromed out. These are refractors. Hold on, I'm going to put these on the back so you don't see them. But then there's these ones. So after you get through those, these ones are all white, but these are chrome. Compare. See what I mean? Chrome first, chrome first, same thing. Same with that. They just, they look different. Is there something I'm missing? What am I missing? Sam, strikerbreaks.com. I don't have any listed right now, though. Because I just got done doing three in a row, three days in a row. And that, that that's a lot of work. So I'm going to be really, really busy between tonight and tomorrow all day. Here we go. We got some paper, some green paper. Izzy Wilson going to Tampa Bay Rays. Jeffy. Izzy Wilson. But here's the sparkles. Sparkles, Alec Baum, going to Rob. Too bad it's not a first. Peyton Burdick, Chrome Refractor, going to Nina. Nina, crazy. Craziness going to Nina. Congratulations. Yeah, that looks good. It's just not a first. Like if that, you know, if he's got the little first up there, then the, the sparkles have a lot more potential value. Strikerbreaks.com and my patrons get notified first. You can join my Patreon. It's five bucks a month. There's a link on the website or in the old videos, any of the older videos. But patrons get notified when I list a break and it usually sells out within a day lately at least. So other than that, you can check the website from time to time. There's a subscribe form or a contact list form or something like that on the website so I can get your email and email people like one one or two emails every couple months maybe just to let you know if I list something big but I haven't even e I didn't even email anybody in December I don't think group email not December uh, November or December here we go Kyle Stowers. See, these ones look way cooler. They're they're like totally chromed out as opposed to the other ones. You guys see what I mean? It's 
strange. And it's not just dirt. I don't know. I almost think that they made some of these beforehand and changed their printer or something. I don't know. Any Atlanta Braves fans? I'm sure there are, man. There's a lot of Acuna fans around these parts. <laughs> Rob. Feverishly check the website 20 times a day. Yeah, I post messages on the website, too, from time to time. I put videos on there. I do the hit. The Hall of Hits with some of the better hits that we've gotten in the breaks. Try to update that here in the next few days. Also, I'm trying to figure out what is the ratio of base. If anybody can help me out with this, this will help me because I'm making a video about the production run of this Bowman draft. And the video in the video, I'm going to figure out how many regular chrome cards they made of each player, how many sky blue cards they made, how many speckles they made, how many cards there are total, and also how many boxes and cases and all kinds of stuff. So that's coming my way or coming your way. And it looks like it's about 50, 50, but between the paper and the Chrome, but I don't know that to be a hundred percent of a fact. Chrome cartridges weren't running low. It's possible. I mean, it's it's the same way in every pack too. I'll show you again once we get there. Here we are. The like the good chrome, the the nice, the schmancy chrome. And then this was like the ending of the last pack. Look how white it is. How clear and white. Like they're all like that. All of these are like that. And all of these are all blinged out in chrome. Are there two different kind of chrome cards? There's a mirrors first and the sky blue. Daniel Espino. Going to Cleveland. Tyler, the top guys you're going to look for are Adley Rutschman, C.J. Abrams, Andrew Vaughn. Those are like the top three. And then Riley Green, Josh Young, J.J. Blade, Hunter Bishop, Brett Beatty, and Corbin Carroll are all in the next tier down. Refractors. The Blade. Mr. Blade. Hey, hey, hey. Rob got a numbered one finally. And the auto! Braden Shoemake. Word on the street is this guy's actually pretty good. Milady? What do you think, Milady? Can you tell us all about him? All about Braden? So we're still we still have one more to go. One more auto to go. Trench coat guy totally bailed. Hunter Bishop. Trench coat guy bailed on me, man. I don't know. We may never hear from him again. I don't know. He left me hanging. Riley Green. That looks like a sky blue. I think it is. It's gotta be a sky blue Hill Jr. Go to the Diamondbacks. Yeah, 
Yeah, the stacks are pretty even. I'll show you when we end, but. Seems to be about 50-50 chrome to paper, because that's how I divided those stacks up. Couldn't fit the jumbos, maybe. Maybe that was the reason. I think it's just because this stuff's so expensive. Trench coat guy doesn't usually have a lot of the real expensive stuff. Oh yeah, also this got delayed throughout parts of the country, the shipping because of weather. Franco, CJ Abrams, Chrome first. Go to Mark. We got some Marlins, Blade, and then the Padres going to Mark. And onto the, the whitish looking ones, or cream colored Chrome. Cream colored chrome. I like it. Triple C. These are the triple C players. I wonder if they're if they have one of each, if they have a triple C and a ultra chrome. Last pack. Pretty quick one. What do you guys want me to do next? As far as breaks go, listing of breaks. I'll let you know what I have in stock as far as cards. I've got one more of the pack parties. I've got I've got some chronicles. A couple boxes of 18 holiday. Some clearly, and I'm still waiting on a bunch of this Bowman draft. I'll be getting the hobby, the jumbo, and some more super jumbo. Just a couple boxes of each, though. Do you guys prefer having a more expensive break with more of the Bowman draft, or try to keep the price low with like one box of Bowman draft and then some less expensive stuff so you get more cards? Or I don't know. What do you like? Dave Durango, $2. Just want to say how much I love Striker Firehands. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. And I love Dave Durango as well. Check his stream out after this, guys. I'll be there. Sorting cards in the background. Occasionally talking trash. Okay, here's... Okay, we got a Corbin Carroll... Super Chrome. I'm just going to start calling these ones Super Chrome. And the other ones are Triple C. Purple. Jack Little. Going to the Dodgers. Mark B. Clearly authentic went up. Oh, yeah. That's uh, $44.95. Yeah, that's probably as cheap as you'll be able to get it from here on out, but who knows? Because I, I I know some of you guys went and bought some of it up. I've heard from people. Supply and demand. As the supply drops and the word spreads about how good it is, the price will go up. What's up, Goody? We got some refractor action here. Nick Lodolo. And there's a blue. Will it be? It's either a blue or a purple auto, I'm thinking. Hopefully. Come on. Come on. Something big. Aaron. Shunk. Going to the Rockies? Is it a purple auto behind here? Can we get three color autos in one box? Let's find out. It's the Josh Young purple. Wow. No way. Holy crap, the Josh Young box. The purple and the blue wave in one box. Nina is one happy camper. Wow, nice pulse. Woo 
Well, this one definitely paid for itself and more for you. Dang. Holy cow, congratulations. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. That one got my heart racing. This is a good box. All position players. Oh, except for Noah Song. Okay, four out of five. Three pieces of color. The blue, the purple, the refractor. Autos, that is. What a night. Yeah, all we need is a gold. Hopefully there'll be a gold just regular. I was seeing quite a few golds. Seemed like it was one a box, but I don't know for sure. No, not, not one a box for those golds. Definitely not the gold autos. Last pack, guys, or half pack, if you will. Some super chrome. On to the franchise futures. Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. Nina's heart going crazier than mine for sure. Corbin Carroll, but I don't know. I get pretty excited about this stuff. And the Andrew Vaughn sneaking in here. Back behind all the others. Okay. Wrapping it up with the last bit of paper. I don't know what the next break's going to be. I was kind of looking for some feedback from everybody, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to include a party pack, probably. Do you guys... You like the party pack with this Bowman stuff? I want to add something else, but maybe I'll add a Chronicles to a break similar to this. What I could do is I could put a regular jumbo and do this same break and put a regular jumbo in there and the price would go down. Or I could add like a Chronicles something else and the price would go up just a little bit but you'd get more cards more people would get good cards wouldn't be too much more to add a box of chronicles nina you like this one dave wants to transcend it all right dave no problem <laughs> no problem fly by the perp The refractor, the blue, a pitcher, the Soto, and the Martinez. Nice, soft, gentle landing. But the story of the break. Right here. Right in front, in front of your face. So if anybody wants to go the Nina strategy, you got to buy a couple of entries into the breaks. It increases your chances significantly of getting a good card. And Nina's a math teacher, so, you know, remember that she kind of knows what she's doing. And by kind of, I mean really. She really knows. She knows what's up. There we go. Okay, it's all perfect. I'm so anal about straightening. Ugh. Woo! Young looks better in blue. Yeah, he does. Got a little bit of that blue in the jersey. The blues look better. Let's be honest. The blues look better. I'd rather have a blue. Just like Roan Bear was talking about the other day, the blues are more desirable than the greens, and the greens are lower numbered. 
And I don't know how the sparkles are gonna pan out, but the blues are probably more be more desirable than the sparkles, and those ones are numbered to, I think, 71. But I'd rather have a sparkle, kinda. I don't know, maybe not. It all depends. So, what is coming up? Well, probably tomorrow morning what's going to happen is I'll wake up bright and early or not go to bed tonight and just work on shipping everything. And then I'll check on tracking info for some more, some more of my Bowman draft cards coming in. And I'll list another break tomorrow, so check back on the website tomorrow for those of you who are interested. And we're going to keep this going. Then I'm going to be listing some some breaks with Bowman's Best, whenever that comes out, next week or whatever, two weeks. I think it's like the 20th, somewhere around there. Yeah, I w see, Roan Bear, they changed it from Speckles to Sparkles. And that really bothers me, because I liked getting it right with Speckles. Because everybody was saying Sparkles when it was Speckles, and I'm like, heh, it's actually called Speckles. But now, we go going... They're going and changed it up on us again. Look at Where are they at? Where are those speckly speckles? Sparkles! Those rats. Those dirty, dirty rats. But I, I like them a lot. So, Young Blue 600. Young Purple, Buck 53. Yeah, we'll see how it all pans out. But I would, I would definitely send it away to get graded. Nina, you've probably got a nice stack of stuff getting, getting ready, uh, or at least stuff that has the potential for a nice increase in value after it gets graded. Stemmer's got two Pedro Avila autos last night in a break. Congratulations. Hold and grade, says Jay. Yeah, I need to go through my cards because my buddy's getting getting together a, a bunch to send in. So I got to find a bunch myself. That'll be fun going through all the cards. Finding the best ones. Lots of color. Lots of Bowman. I've been waiting for, for this, for all my Bowman stuff. Nothing crazy, but I've got some Wanders and some pretty nice autos out of Bowman. As a matter of fact, let me see. I'll grab grab some. We can look at them and see if there's anything good. I wonder if this is the good stuff. Let's find out. This is my Bowman stash from last year. Story Ruiz, purple. Genesis Cabrera, Chang, Bo Takahashi to 25, Ronaldo Hernandez, I think that's a pretty big one, isn't it? Casey Golden, Chang, Burke, Speckle at that time, oh, the Tucker, Chrome Auto, it's got to be a nice one. Let me know if you guys see any that are worth anything, I haven't looked these up. Aaron Savale. Nina, is that your guy? He was pitching for a while. He was doing pretty good. He doesn't have high strikeout stuff, but uh, he's a pretty good pitcher. Grayson Janista. Mojo Auto. Yadier Alvarez. Ryan McKenna. Atomic. Miguel Amaya. That's a pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice one, too. Tirso Ornelas. But it's not a first. I thought that was a first. Luke and Baker. Luis Robert. Aqua. This one's sweet. 
Julio Pablo purple first. The Ruiz speckle first to two ninety nine. Oh, you think so, Mystery? Send those guys to get graded? I think that was from Cheryl, maybe. Or some, somebody sent this to me, I think. The Kopech to 50. Oh yeah, the Nova first, Aqua to 125. All you got is two Wander Francos out of Bowman, number to 25 and 99. Dude, are you kidding me? Is that, that's all you say? Out of all the Bowman I opened, I think I only hit, it was either three or four Chrome Firsts of Wander. And I opened so much. Victor, Victor, blue. You guys would probably like that one. The Atomic Clayton. Altuve Gold. There's another low numbered Altuve to 25. I might start listing some cards on the website too. Just so there's something on there. It's a pretty sweet Mitch Keller to 50. The Kirilloff Mojo to 25. If you can see it. Ooh, found a gem. Will Smith Green, I didn't even know I had. Gomez. Oh, there's a blue auto. To 150, Garrett Whitlock. Brandon Lau, rookie. Got the purple, purple Tebow first. Yeah, I've got Wanders, I, but I don't have any autos or color Wanders, unfortunately. Got the Carter to 25. So that was Bowman Chrome. Still. I think I've got a whole other box full of this stuff, too. I don't know what this is. Looks like paper, mostly paper numbered stuff. Lots of speckles. Yeah, and that key boom tight.
Oh, there's a sweet Dylan Cease. He's good. Is that his first? No. Mauricio Mojo. Oh, here's my Wanders. All this is out of Bowman. And that's Bowman Chrome, 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 Platinum, and the Chrome first. Paper, Chrome, Chrome. Bunch of Barts. I don't know that the centering affects the PSA that much. I think more the condition of the card. Like when they're grading the auto, it may. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Wonder Chrome still sells for 20 on eBay. Yeah, what is it? Is it is it Julio Pablo who's gone up so much? Or is it Julio Rodriguez? A bunch of Lucianos, Mauricios, Martinez. Rodriguez, we got this nice mojo, Rodriguez first. Victor, Victor, mojo first. Victor Mesa Jr. Oh, hi, Jordan. Didn't know you were in there. Okay, guys. Enough messing around. It was fun. It was a blast. I hope this fulfilled all of your wildest dreams. Check the website. Tomorrow afternoon, I should have another break listed by then, but I'll, of course, let the patrons know first. And as usual, I will catch you guys later.